Cargill is a case of a standoff between two nuclear armed countries, which is by definition dangerous. And all of us wonder how, the, how we got into it and how it evolved the way it did. And I do think the stability and stability paradox played a role here. I want to qualify in a minute, but first the basic point is that Pakistan had exploded its nuclear weapon, demonstrated it was a nuclear state, and I think it gave Pakistani leaders some confidence that they could use that as a shield behind which they could do provocative things, just as the stability and stability paradox indicates. Now they tried to reduce the risk, they claimed the uh, people who had crossed the line were not regular Pakistani soldiers and all that. Uh, and it was not a large conventional attack in any way. But I do think their bomb emboldened them by believing they could deter India. But of course there are a lot of other things involved and uh, we're not sure we understand all the decision making that it was very tightly held and Sharif was prime minister, was not, most of us think, didn't fully understand what, what he'd authorized and the military had done stuff that he didn't realize and maybe had not fully thought it through. But at least on one level, I think it does represent uh, the, act, the operation of the stability and stability paradox.